Shape-driven rebars now snap more intuitively to the concrete cover when you copy or move them. By not snapping automatically, very small segment length adjustments are eliminated, and the rebar geometry remains consistent. Because of this, no new rebar positions or rebar numbers are created. Previously, a rebar would snap to the cover if it was within a half of the bar diameter from the cover. The rebars still snap automatically for operations like dragging individual bar segment handles, sketching a rebar or placing a new rebar. Shape-driven rebar segments are now automatically constrained only to the concrete host faces data and range of each segment. This change in behavior ensures that bars will no longer incorrectly connect to faces that are far away and react to the changes of those faces. You can still manually select any face as a constrained target parallel to the bar segment even if that face is not within range. Standard bars now snap to stirrups automatically, only if the standard bars pass through the stirrups. When a standard and stirrup set are distributed in the same direction, they have parallel bending planes, none of the standard bar segments will automatically snap to the stirrup segments. When you manually select a constraint target, that constraint is set as preferred. If the constraint bar segment is parallel to that face, it will keep that constraint when moving the bar in the same host, even if that face is outside of the range of the bar. When copying the rebar from one host to a similar one, it will automatically match the selected preferred constraints from the target to the destination host. Structural hosts are similar if their corresponding faces are parallel and orientated the same way. Having all these enhancements gives you more predictable behavior when copying and moving shape-driven rebars for higher accuracy and design intent fidelity.